Let's create this 3D outline text animation using only After Effects. So I've seen this as a request lately and a lot of the tutorials that are similar are using different software such as Illustrator. So I figured this can be done in a similar way using only After Effects. With my text layer selected, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the presets here and search for percentage. Now this is available on one of the later versions of 24, so I'm not sure which one you have, but this is how I created this simple counter. And I'll set the padding here to zero, just so it starts off with one zero, and it simply creates this percentage counter, just like that. So I'll hit you to bring up the keyframes, and I'll drag this just a bit further here, maybe to two seconds. Then we'll make our text layer a 3D layer, and I'll create a new camera. And I wanna make sure I'm set to advanced 3D here. Then we'll go into the text layer, and under geometry options, will set the extrusion depth to 100. Now, let me position the camera here. I'm holding down Alt and moving my camera with my mouse. I just wanna position it so we can actually see some depth here. Now with the extrusion here, the only issue is we cannot go to the negative values. So we can only have it grow towards the depth, but we want it to go towards the camera. So what I figured out is if we hit S for the position here, I will unselect the chain and set this to one. Then we'll go to the first frame, set a keyframe. Let's go back to two seconds. And I'm gonna set this to minus 100. So this way it's growing towards the camera and it's only extruding in the Z axis. So this is a cool trick by itself. Now for the outline, I'm just simply gonna use an adjustment layer and add a find edges effect to it. Then we'll invert it. And you can see we're getting this outlines out of our 3D text layer. Now, if you plan on using a different color background instead of black, what you can do is pre-compose everything. Then let me drop a new background here and we'll make it grayish. And I'll just set my layer here on the transfer mode to screen. So we only see the outline. Now, if you zoom in here, you can see some of the 3D artifacts. So to get rid of these, we can add a simple levels effect and just bump up the input black here to get rid of this. If you wanna keep them, that's also fine, but this is in case you wanna get rid of them. And then for the shadows, I'm just simply using a layer styles drop shadow and adjusting it to how I need to towards my composition. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's a pretty quick one to figure out how to create this simple text animation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.